Hello everyone. And in this video, I will walk you through the steps to install the Cisco images, uh, which are basically run on Dynamips. So there are multiple ways you can run the Cisco iOS on your GNS3 or any uh, simulator. Uh, one of the methods is the Dynamips. This is an old method, but this requires very low resources. So if you your laptop is not that um, high on resources, you can work with the Cisco iOS images um using dynamips so you can go through all these points um so you have uh, uh, there is a another method of r r plus svms but in this video we'll be uh, talking about the dynamics routers and switches uh, these images basically are low in cpu and memory so you can um, fit more of them in one topology now the idle pc value is an important part of this uh, dynamic so if you right click and click on the taskbar you should see the process uh, processes and you should see the utilization of your cpu and ram here now if you don't um, calculate the idle pc properly uh, this would affect your cpu and this may hit up saying 100 percent and ultimately could damage your laptop right so i would suggest you to keep um, um, an eye on this um, percentage while, while working on the uh, the dynamics routers and switches but once you have the idle pc calculated uh, this should not bother you but yeah i would uh, recommend you to keep an eye on that now the images that i have um, i have put the links here uh, if you want to go for routing i would suggest you to go for the c um, 7200 uh, router images so i'll just click on this and this will open up a google drive here and you can just download this file now just let me know if any links are not working uh, i would try and fix it uh, as soon as possible so now this has been downloaded um now i can go to my um gns3 as you can see i don't have any routers and switches here so for that i need now to add this you have to go to the edit and preferences and once you go to the edit and preference you go to the dynamic section and under dynamic section you go and click on the ios routers now you don't see any routers here just hit on new and you just select the run this ios router on my local computer which is your uh, server this is showing as desktop yeah so this will run on this server next and now here you click on the new image and browse for the image that you downloaded so this is the one c7200 open this image and hit on yes to decompress this ios image it will take some time and once that is done you hit on next and this is where you specify the name so i'll say cisco um router like that you can say any name uh, with which you want to um, identify this router right and hit on next and keep the default ram of 5 to lmbs now here you can add more slots and type of um, interfaces so by default you have fast ethernet so i'll go for gigabit ethernet and hit next you can add more um, depending on the um, i mean type of lab you're doing hit next now this is very important this is the idle pc finder you just need to click on this and wait for the pc to find the value it's on its own yeah let's wait for this it'll take some time but yeah uh, so you can follow the um, steps in the video and do this or else i will provide this this uh, pdf file and you can just go along with this so I, I mentioned the same uh, things here uh, step one go to dynamic step two um, hit on new image and browse that step three you can name rename then um, the ram then the slots and then um, you can have more slots depending on type to finder and then um, yeah then you have the idle pc page uh, click on that finder and click on finish and okay right and now i think that has been done so you can see the idle pc value is some hex format has been found suitable for your ios click on okay and finish and now you see that has been added and apply and hit okay now let's add this router here so i can see the router here i'll drag and drop here and you can see the nodes that are added on the top of this uh, um, i mean window here and uh, right means that it's not turned on right now i'll right click and start the node this will turn green that means the node is running and uh, to access the console you can either double click on this uh, node or right click and hit on console this will um, launch this in the putty software that you have or solar putty whatever now that's said and done uh, you will have to wait for the so this is a version 15 um uh, ios i mean most of the things should be um um 
working fine in this one but if anything doesn't work or you don't find any feature and all uh, i would suggest you to uh, work with the vios which is the viral image and uh, i will show in the next videos how to add those inside the gns3 and also you can add the, those inside the um the evng software which i'll be showing in the future videos but yeah if you don't have much resources on your end so this is the only option you have now hit on this and let's say show version if i see and i can see the same 15.2 version right and also you can see show i mean all the commands will be working ip interface brief so you have two interfaces right now now you can add more um, from the slot side right? you have one fast ethernet and you have one gigabit ethernet both are down now that is done for the router now i want to show you how to add the l3 switching simulation so again to add you need to perform the following steps uh, download the this image you click on this and it will take you to another google drive just hit on download here and the image will be downloaded into your system okay now that is done now let's go and again the steps are same um, but there's a little bit difference i will show you hidden preferences new image select the um, uh, name of the uh, l3 switch and yeah so this is important you have to check box um, on this option which says this is an ether switch router and then you can select the um, uh, the module of the switch which has 16 ports ethernet ports um yeah that's all and then you can drag and drop and that's it let's go and do the same inside the even uh the gns3 sorry edit preferences now go to dynamics ios routers um you can say new and hit the option with this run this ios router on my local computer next new image browse and the image that you downloaded was c3640 open this next and you can name this as uh, multi okay so before that you just click on this is an ether switch router so you can say l3 switch this is the name that i want to give it and hit on next now here you can keep the same or i'll just increase it to 256 hit next now i have already the 16 switch um, uh, ports added you want to add more you can do it and here and we have six slots i mean you can have 16 uh, six into 16 slots at max hit to next then again you have to click on the idpc finder this will again take some time and then once this is calculated you just have to apply and drag and drop and start using the um the ios uh, router and switch inside your lab so let's wait for this to complete and then we will run this and test this uh, test and verify if this is working fine okay anytime soon this should be completed now i will go here and look at my cpu usage this is going down yeah and this has been completed successfully hit okay and finish and apply and okay now i would add this l3 switch this is this one here and i can now to connect you have to basically first stop the node and he'll hit on the connector click here fast ethernet click here fast ethernet zero one now then you can select like this and start both of them so you will see them going green here and then i can double click uh, for the consoles so this is my router r1 and this is my ethernet switch one and hit enter and on the left i have the router on the right i have the l3 switch and i see everything's fine um so if you go here and see config t and host name l3 switch like this yeah and if i say show ip interface brief i should see 16 interfaces um i should say do here i should see the 16 interfaces here right yeah and then there's a vlan so for the vlan um you can do a show um vlan switch in this switch it's equivalent to show vlan brief command um yeah so that is how you um, work with this let's check the version here i think it's 12.4 yeah okay so 
that is how you add the routers and switches um, inside the GNS3 using Dynamips. Um, uh, I'll see you in the next video.